Okay, let's say we've got a guy with a bag full of garbage. And to get rid of that garbage, he goes to the landfill, pays this guy some money, and in return gets the right to dump his garbage in someone else's backyard. Presumably he's unhappy because he's had to pay, whilst the guy that operates the landfill is happy because he gets paid. Now, let's get this same guy again. This time, let's give him a bag of different garbage, CO2. Now, he could have received this from driving his car or from buying a product from a factory that had to produce CO2. And all he has to do this time is open the bag and dump his CO2, but not in the landfill as in previously, but this time it gets dumped in the atmosphere. That's the new landfill, and it puts a big smile on his face. Why? Because, unlike the landfill, it's free. He can dump as much garbage as he wants into our atmosphere. No, nobody's going to tell you not to. How do we fix this situation? Let's get the same guy again. He's got another bag of CO2. He likes his CO2, this guy. And we'll introduce a new player. So he, this time he needs to pay this woman some money. And in exchange, he gets the right to dump his garbage into the atmosphere. So now he's unhappy because he's had to pay. And she's happy because she gets paid. Question is, who is she? Well... She's the owner of this funny looking tree. What's the big deal about a tree? A tree stores carbon. In order for a tree to grow, it must capture and store carbon. So basically, if you own a tree, then you're cleaning up the garbage that's in the atmosphere and you should get financially rewarded. If you want to keep dumping CO2 into our atmosphere, you're going to have to pay for it. Carbon trading.